Hi folks, this is Russell Longcore of PortableOnlineBusiness.com. What we do is try to uh, match people up with businesses that are profitable that they can do from the comfort of their home. Now, you're here today because you've seen some of the other parts of this. This is a six part series on how to make money online. And so today we're going to be dealing with uh, part five of six. And today we're going to be talking about two uh, really important things uh, that that come along with having a business of your own and these are the things that if you're evaluating a business opportunity these are two more things that you want to look at uh, that you want to include in your business opportunity whatever that may be when you're going to have a home-based business now what we've done so far let me give you a quick recap number one the most important thing is to have a highly consumable life essential product or service Number two, a large growing inelastic market demand. Number three, ultralight startup. Number four, low overhead. Number five, no inventory requirements. 100% auto ship, you really want that. Number six, no employees. Number seven, no licensing or chargebacks or sales quotas. And number eight, no territorial or geographic restrictions. That was in the last section. Today, we're gonna to talk about two things, number nine, Highly duplicatable, number 10, monthly residual income. Let's talk about number nine first. A, ho a home-based business, specifically if it's going to be uh, affiliated with a network marketing company, has to be duplicatable. And, and the most important thing about that is, is that you have, to, you have to get this thing so simple. Well, let me back up. And once again, you're seeing raw video. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Please forgive me, but this is this is really important for you to get. In our businesses, uh, our our process is so duplicatable that I can teach an eight-year-old to do this. I mean, it really is that simple, folks. And and here's the reason that duplicatability is so simple. If if you look at if if I came on this video and I did this wonderful polished huge magnificent presentation and you were thinking about getting in business for me you might have this thought good lord do i have to know all of that that russ longcorn knows if i got to put on a presentation like he did i mean i'm i'm not comfortable in front of people i don't like i don't like public speaking uh that scares me i don't want to have to do that if i got to do what he does then i'm not going to do it i'll go find something else to do that's not duplicatable. If you get that kind of a if, if you get that kind of a vibe between the people that the, between yourself and the people that you're talking to and that you're presenting your business to, then you're not going to your business is not going to survive. You've got to have something that's so duplicatable that an 8-year-old can do it. And our businesses are uh, it's it's pretty simple and I, and I can show you later how easy that is. But you got to have something that is highly duplicatable, it's and really easy because you're going to want to you're going to want to build a big organization of people, and the second thing about duplicatability is training. In other words, you I may be able to train you, and get you all squared away, and you can do what I do and all that kind of stuff, but then how about the person that you go talk to? Maybe we could get them trained, but how about the person that that guy goes and talks to? You know, if you take that out four or five levels deep, you know what I mean, levels? If you take that about four or five levels deep, you're talking about people that you don't have any idea who they are, you've never met them, uh, but they're gonna jump into your business and they're gonna represent you and they're gonna try and make something go on. But but if they're not getting trained correctly, if they're if the business that you have is not terrible is not completely duplicatable to the newest person, you're gonna have problems. And here's here's one of the here's one of the things that happens in network marketing. The 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 statistics come out and they say this: eighty five percent of the growth that you'll have in a networking business, if you're gonna if you're gonna use networking as your home business, eighty five percent of your growth is going to come from the newest people. These are the people that are the greenest. They're the people that don't know anything about the company or they know the least. But that's where all the growth is. Uh, now, if, so so if you can't if you can't make something that's duplicatable for them, uh, where all the growth is, then you're not going to have that kind of growth. So so number nine, 
uh, is highly duplicatable. And number 10 is the next point. And that is you need a business that's going to generate a monthly residual income. Now, there's an awful lot of network marketing companies that talk to you about residual income. Matter of fact, most of them do. Uh, they'll 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 uh, beat the drum about how their uh, how they build a monthly residual income. But here's the here's the problem. And and folks, I've been in. Let me read you something. This will be a, a this a, my here's my journey. I mean, I started this like 30 years ago. But here are all the different multi-level marketing companies that I've been in. The first one I was in was Shackley. Then I was in Herbalife. Then I was in Consumer Express, which was a company that lasted about 30 seconds. Then I was in A.L. Williams, which is an in insurance. Then I was in Amway, which sells everything. Then I was in Team in Focus, which is uh, an Amway clone that was started by some of the big diamonds who got mad at Amway and left on their own. Uh, then I was in a company called Sea Silver, which was a nutritional product. Then I was in prepaid legal, which is legal memberships. Then I was in then 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 Ignite, which is energy. Then Solove, which is mobile phone service, and 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 uh, lately Numis, which is precious uh, precious metals assets. But here's my point: in all of those companies, um, they had. Uh, uh, Hold on with me. I lost my place. Here we go. Okay, good. Raw audio, folks. Remember, raw audio. They all said that they were going to generate residual income after you have a certain amount of people as your customers. Now, here's the problem. Most of those companies, as good as they are, most of those companies were selling things that were discretionary purchases, right? Uh, they were things that people didn't have to have that they could have bought nearly anywhere else and most did so how do you how do you convince somebody to to spend money with you even if you have great value if they're making discretionary purchases month to month your biggest challenge in networking is to maintain volume because you're not going to maintain an income unless you maintain volume and if people are making discretionary purchases that means that that Next month, when the money is not there, when they have a car that blows up or they have a medical bill or they have to get a tooth pulled or something like that and all of their cash goes to get that happening, what are they going to do with your discretionary purchase? Well, they're not going to make it. So consequently, the biggest challenge in home businesses that are related to network marketing is maintaining volume. And volume is the only thing that you can count on as far as a residual income. But if you have a business that that deals with life essential services that everybody has to have and won't voluntarily live without, then every month they're going to make those payments even if they don't have discretionary income. And uh, so in our situation, uh, our businesses really do seriously generate a residual income that you can rely upon month to month. And, and if you haven't done this yet and you're just getting involved, Please understand that reliable residual income that you can rely upon month to month is enormous peace of mind for you. If you're if you're if you're getting to the end of a month every month and you're trying to figure out how you're going to maintain your volume, how you're going to get your volume back to what it was last month, folks, that's torture. And you don't need it. I mean, stay stay employed with somebody else if you want torture. Uh, the whole idea of getting a, a, a getting a home-based business is so that you can get free so that brings it to the close of number five. And the next time we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the last, uh, the last things. Uh, and I'm not even going to tell you what they are. Yeah, but it's the, it's the 11th and 12th most important things for you to have in your business as you, have, uh, as, as you come into uh, having a home-based business. Uh, now, if you'll, if you'll take a look down here, we're uh, just below this video. You'll see the next. Uh, you'll see the next uh, um, uh, link for the sixth out of six parts of this make money online video. So, folks, this is Russell Longcore from PortableOnlineBusiness.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you in part six. Bye bye.